Salute to ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to my peoples and my guys. Look alive, look alive. Um, it's your boy Act Reacher with another episode of the Boxing TPs. Um, this one ain't gonna be a long one. Uh, this one was kind of sporadic because I've been so busy lately with training and working. It been real crazy, so I'm sorry to everybody. You know, what I mean, if you know, I haven't been able to be there like I can, but trust me, I'm just getting everything in order. Um, so it's not about me. It's about this great fight that we're about to have and the cards are starting in a half hour, at least my time, if you're on Easter Standard Time. And uh, I just want to say I appreciate Dimitri Bivol and Gilberto Zero Ramirez for taking this great, great, great fight. I got to give them a lot of credit. They putting it all on the line to me. This is two of the best at 175. And I got to give Zerto credit. They put them through it. They put him through it. When he should have only had to fight one title eliminator. Because he was the WBO champion at 168. And I always felt like he was a natural 175 pounder just looking at his frame. I don't know why they did him like that. And I just want my brother Mac stay ready. He's probably somewhere out there listening right now. I just want him to know I it didn't go unnoticed, champ. It definitely didn't go unnoticed. I uh, thought, honestly, I thought, honestly, that was kind of ridiculous uh, what they did to the brother uh, Zerto Ramirez. I kind of thought that was kind of ridiculous. Like, like, come on, bro. He, he was a former champion. He should have automatically just had to fight that one fight. And then be able to compete for the belt. But it is what it is. We're getting this fight. So I don't really want to sound like I'm complaining or anything like that. And I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. Because I try to do it from my computer. But my computer, it keeps backing me out. So I was like, you know what? Let's just rock out on the phone. So uh, hopefully I could cut that out, edit it out. It'll be easy and for you too. Um, like I said, this is a great fight. Um, Dimitri Bivol and Zerto Ramirez. We all know Dimitri Bivol just came off a spectacular, spectacular win off of Canelo Alvarez, who was on a lot of people's pound for pound. Maybe even their number one. And gave him his first law since Floyd Mayweather. And he didn't even do anything spectacularly. He didn't do anything spectacular. All the man did. Was was basic, basic boxing. He boxed when he needed to box. And got on defense when he needed to get on defense. Uh, he transitioned him from offense to defense in that fight. In my personal opinion, you heard very, very well. He did very, very well. Gotta give him credit. Gotta give him credit. He said the only thing that hurt on him was his shoulders. Because that's all Canelo could hit. He kind of was using his 
shoulder his left shoulder as defense from the jab and the left and right hand. But Canelo, he was doing good work in there. It just wasn't enough. And not only that, Dimitri Bivol, because he's a... To be honest with you, Dimitri Bivol and Sergey Kovalev is bigger than Canelo. See, the reason why I brought up Kovalev is because people that always say Canelo fought a bigger fighter, but he fought a bigger fighter. We got to remember he competed at 175 before and won. So know what you're saying before you say it. Like my boy Eminem said when I was a kid, what say is what you say. <laughs> For real, you got to really be careful what you say because there's going to be somebody that's a boxer and that actually follows the sport that's going to be like, wait, 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 wait. You know, because a dude at my job did that. That's my bro. He don't really follow boxing like that. But he was trying to say, oh, Caleb plant this and Caleb plant that. And I already knew what he was trying to do. Nothing wrong with Caleb Plant. I was at the fight, and that was a spectacular. He might he might have had the best knockout of the night, but Deontay Wilders was still faster. I don't care. I'll admit that. I think Caleb Plant's knockout was better, but Deontay Wilders was still faster. So Deontay Wilders still get an A+. I think a first round knockout is an A plus. That's the only time you could give you or or if you stop the person in the first round. If you pack them up or park them, you get an A plus in the first round though. Cause you could get a little resistance and knock a dude out. Yeah, so um, we definitely uh, looking forward to this fight. Um, we also later tonight on Showbox. I'm actually looking forward to this. I know a lot of brother, but I but but I got a question. Like, why is my brother on Showbox? And why? Like, I don't I don't get why David Morrell is on Showbox. Somebody got to really explain that to me. Like, I don't really get that. Why is he going from, like, Fox to show? Anyway. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what he's going to do. Um, that's at 168. Uh, super middleweight or junior middleweight, whatever. I mean, uh, nah, it, it can't really be. It gotta be uh, super middleweight. I well, I guess that don't matter. But anyway, um. I don't really, I'm not too familiar with uh, David Morales' opponent tonight, so I'm not going to speak too much on it. I got a third round knockout. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to just leave it there with that fight. But back to uh, Dimitri Bivol and Gilberto Zerto Ramirez, uh, as far as me breaking down and how I see the fight before I re get ready to uh, end this one. Um, me personally, I like Zerto. I was, I don't want, like I said again, to my brother, stay ready. Don't crucify me. I just couldn't go with Zerto in this fight. With my knowledge, because I go off of mental and physical, 
Now, physically, I don't see a problem there for Zerto. And I think he got the height advantage and all of that. They the same age. Uh, he's 6'2". Uh, Dimitri Bivol is six foot. I didn't like before the fight got made the antics with the cop and Zerto being drunk. And being arrested. I don't like to bring that up. But I'm only using that. Towards the mental uh, aspect in the fight. I don't know. Like with him dealing with that case. That he might have. Fought. Maybe too soon. And that's just my personal opinion. Maybe he fought too soon. I don't know what happened with that case. I don't know if it got dismissed, but I feel like all of that stuff and then you dealing with that in training and then you still got to go out there. Uh, both guys may wait beautifully. Um, I just I just don't know. I just feel like with a dude like Dimitri Bivol, you got to be there mentally and physically. You can't just be there. Because he kind of showed that with Canelo. Yeah, people could rum, uh, try to tell me, oh, act, yeah, but Dimitri Bivol was bigger. Like I said, I know Kovalev was older, but Kovalev was bigger. And he fought him at 175 or 1. It wasn't that. He just did basic boxing. Was able to pick Canelo apart. And yeah, I do think him being bigger played a factor, but the only time it played a flat, uh, excuse me, played a factor is him being able to absorb what Canelo was dishing out. So, that's how I kind of feel about that Dimitri uh, Bevo fight and Canelo fight. So, translating that into this fight tonight, somebody that's actually 175. I got to see, shoot, I could be wrong tonight. I could have picked the wrong man. And not everybody knows nine times out of ten, me and my bro 503 is right. <laughs> um, I got to pick the right man. I feel like that win over Dimitri Bivol, I mean, uh, that win that Dimitri Bivol had got over Canelo, that also is experience in the ring with somebody who's a very high caliber fighter, at least to today's standards. And Canelo could actually fight. I'm not going to lie. So that was a good look for Dimitri Bivol. And I believe Dimitri Bivol is doing the right thing by just taking another fight. And it's a high caliber fight. With another Mexican brother. So. I wonder if Canelo's going to come to the fight. Now that I'm thinking about it. We should have pressed Canelo to come to the fight. 
we should press Canelo to come to the fight. That's how I'm feeling. I'm sorry. I think we should definitely press that man into seeing what's going on with the fights. Like, you need to go there. You need to be checking. I mean, he. then again, I got to remember, Zerto is with Golden Boy. Zerto is definitely with Golden Boy, so I don't know. Maybe I won't hold him to it now because I know he got a little beef with Oscar and them over there, and I ain't forcing you to be uncomfortable as a man, but um, I, I was only saying it for the fans. You know what I mean? Uh and this is a really good fight. But then again, it is over there overseas. It's not like it's in the States. So, that's why it's about to start in a couple minutes. Make And make sure y'all tune in. And watch the fight. Because this is two high caliber fighters. I got Dimitri Bivol winning by. Tenth round knockout. I got a tenth round knockout. I think Dimitri Bivol could stop Zerto. I think Zerto uh, going through things. Um, but, uh, to everybody, make sure y'all look out for me tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all something, you know, uh, longer or whatever. I don't know if it'll necessarily be boxing. Uh, but we gonna come back in here. Uh. And get y'all some content. Uh, appreciate. Uh, my brother M. He's always welcome. Uh, to talk. Some boxing. And uh, I appreciate. Everybody. That came in. And that's going to watch it. You know after it get uploaded. So, um, definitely, uh, check us out tomorrow, uh, probably do something in the evening, and, uh, salute to the usual suspects, the LDBC, the full Berserker clan, uh, it's your boy, Ag Reacher, I never steer you wrong, um, and I'm out of here. Make sure y'all watch the fights. It start at 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Dimitri Bivol versus Gilberto Zerto Ramirez. On the zone. Peace.